let's uh, design the part. This would be the part that we're uh, trying to, uh, to print and use as a support for the uh, for the laser. This would be the uh, support that would go in there. Okay, so now that the part is ready, we go file. Uh, export and I selected the part first so export as an STL and call it laser support okay and save I already saved it before so I'm gonna save it again replace it yes okay so now Minimize this one, open the DaVinci software, and import. So, go to import, the desktop, and I'm looking for laser support. There's the laser support. I'm going to switch to second extruder. Come on. Okay, that's where I have some white fiber and it's ready to go. The printer is plugged in so I can say print and I'm gonna try this time to print uh, uh, excellent I don't, need, I don't need support and I think this is good 30% 0.2 layer uh, speed standard is fine let's print and see what comes out okay so this is gonna take a while we'll come back when it uh, finishes it's gonna take like 10 20 30 seconds or something like that well there it is it's already done so um, now I need to prep the uh, the printer and uh, the printer. Okay, here's the printer. Okay, now I'm gonna clean the bed, put some glue, and then I'm gonna start printing. We'll come back when that's done. Okay, so now we're uh, prepping the uh, the bed, basically using some uh, some of this glue. That's uh, it's washable, uh, many variations, but um, uh, there's some theory that if using proper uh, space between the bed and the head, the extrusion head, uh, this glue is not even needed, but uh, need to spend a little bit more time with the extruder and hopefully I'll get to that point, but I'm not there yet. Okay, so now I'm just uh, sending the uh, the file. Okay, let's send the file to the computer to the printer. Relatively small file. And the printer is beginning to do its motions. Now this is gonna take a, a little while, so I'm gonna uh, turn recording off. And when it starts printing, I'll just uh, turn a little bit on. Okay, so we we are a few minutes into warming up. Uh, as you can see, the uh, extruder number two is the one I'm gonna use for printing. 
and uh, it's uh, almost uh, there and the bed is like 59 now and it needs to get to 70 or 80 and um, once uh, both are at the right temperature then the printer will start uh, by the way I'm using the um, Da Vinci Duo with two extruders um, printing with ABS Okay, and we are at temperature, the extra is beginning to uh, start with cleaning. Do some homing. And the first starts with priming the nozzle uh, by drawing a, a double line on the side. Now the skipping noise is a sign that the extra ray is too close to the bed. Alright, and this is gonna go for a while. Right now it says uh, about 31 minutes uh, on the uh, on the display. Uh, there it is. But we'll come back then. And the part is coming. Very nice. That little hole is mounted for, uh, for a screw. Let's see how far. estimated 10 minutes left okay, so uh, let's finish and we'll come back definitely more than half minute. okay so it looks like our part is finished and this is what it looks like okay we'll take it out and see how close it is to what we expected uh, lots of glue, lots of glue. Hmm. Okay, there's the part. Okay, now let's see. Use a, a an empty heat sink and see what it looks like. That's the idea. 
Okay. So. Okay, this laser holder will, will be like this. Being able to move in and, in and out. Okay, this one can go away. All right, and it will be a fixed mount using the little hole and the other little hole that's over there. I'm gonna put the screw right through. Okay, so I'm gonna put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. And now this is how the parts fit together. Where you can move back and forth, sideways. This would be the laser and it's held by one screw. Now, if you like us, give us thumbs up on YouTube, post a question or both. Thank you for watching.